In question 14 of the exercise, the problem statement says find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50. So if we write the odd numbers between 0 and 50, if we write all such odd numbers that are greater than 0 but less than 50, we will get this series 1, 3, 5, 7, all the way up to uh, 47 and 49 at the end. So these are all the odd numbers between 0 and 50 and we have to find their sum. Now the first thing we could do is we could find the number of terms in this progression. We could find the number of odd numbers between 0 and 50 and to do that we can make use of the relationship for the nth term of an AP a n that's given by a plus n minus 1 times d. So the last term of this progression of odd numbers is 49 and the first term is 1 and the common difference is 2. So let's plug in the values into this relationship and find the value of n. So a n is 49. So 49 is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 times d and d is equal to 2. So from here we get 49 minus 1 or 48. This is equal to 2 times n minus 1 or n minus 1 is equal to 48 by 2, 48 by 2 is 24, so n minus 1 is 24 or n is equal to 25. So there are 25 odd numbers between 0 and 50. So uh, this progression from 1 to 49 with all the odd numbers has 25 terms and you could have uh, you know guessed at this answer directly also because um, this is quite easy in this case because it's simply odd numbers between 0 and 50 but it's better to do this uh, algebraically like we did this so that there's no chance of making a mistake. Okay so there are 25 odd numbers between uh, 0 and 50 and now let's find their sum. To find the sum I am going to use the relationship Sn the sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 times a plus l or the n by 2 times the first term plus the last term. So let's plug in the values. So in this case we will get S25, uh, the sum of these 25 odd numbers will be equal to 25 by 2 into A plus L. So A is 1 and L is 49, the last odd number. So we get 25 by 2 into 1 plus 49 is 50. So let's divide 50 by 2 we get 25 so we get 25 into 25 or 25 square or 625 so the sum of the for, uh, sum of the odd numbers sum of all the odd numbers between 0 and 50 is 625 that's our answer and by the way if you remember this result uh, it's it's actually beneficial to remember that the sum of the first n odd natural numbers is n square. So in this case, because there were 25 uh, odd numbers, uh, their sum would be 25 square. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.